Hello, good morning and welcome to morning prayer. This morning I am in St Mary's Church on Hailing Island. It is Sunday the 26th of July, the seventh Sunday after Trinity. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, Creator of all, to you be glory and praise for ever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time, you made us in your image, and in these last days you have spoken to us in your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts, your spirit ever renew our lives, and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 77. In the day of my trouble, I have sought the Lord. I cry aloud to God. I cry aloud to God and he will hear me. In the day of my trouble, I have sought the Lord. By night, my hand is stretched out and does not tire. My soul refuses comfort. I think upon God and I groan. I ponder and my spirit faints. You will not let my eyelids close. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I consider the days of old. I remember the years long past. I commune with my heart in the night. My spirit searches for understanding. Will the Lord cast us off forever? Will he no more show us his favour? Has his loving mercy clean gone forever? Has his promise come to an end forevermore? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he shut up his compassion in displeasure? And I said, my grief is this, that the right hand of the Most High has lost its strength. I will remember the works of the Lord and call to mind your wonders of old time. I will meditate on all your works and ponder your mighty deeds. Your way, O God, is holy, who is so great a God as our God. You are the God who worked wonders and declared your power among the peoples. With a mighty arm, you redeemed your people, the children of Jacob and Joseph, the waters saw you, O God, the waters saw you and were afraid. The depths also were troubled. The clouds poured out water, the skies thundered. Your arrows flashed on every side. The voice of your thunder was in the whirlwind, your lightnings lit up the ground. The earth trembled and shook. Your way was in the sea and your paths in the great waters, but your footsteps were not known. You led your people like sheep by the hand of Moses and Aaron. 
In the day of my trouble, I have sought the Lord. God, our shepherd, you led us and saved us in times of old. Do not forget your people in their troubles, but raise up your power to sustain the poor and helpless. For the honour of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The first scripture reading is Song of Solomon, chapter 2. I am a rose of Sharon, a lily of the valleys. As a lily among brambles, so is my love among maidens. As an apple tree among the trees of the wood, so is my beloved among young men. With great delight I sat in his shadow, and his fruit was sweet to my haste. He brought me to the banqueting house, and his intention towards me was love. Sustain me with raisins, refresh me with apples, for I am faint with love. Oh, that his left hand were under my head, and that his right hand embrace me. I adjure you, O daughters of Jerusalem, by the gazelles or the wild does. Do not stir up or awaken love until it is ready. The voice of my beloved, look, he comes leaping upon the mountains, bounding over the hills. My beloved is like a gazelle or a young stag. Look, there he stands behind our wall, gazing in at the windows, looking through the lattice. My beloved speaks and says to me, Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. For now the winter is past, the rain is over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth, the time of singing has come. And the voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its figs, and the vines are in blossoms. They give forth fragrance. Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. O oh, my dove, in the clefts of the rock, in the covert of the cliff, let me see your face, let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet, and your face is lovely. Catch us, the foxes, the little foxes that ruin the vineyards, for our vineyards are in blossom. My beloved is mine, and I am his. He pastures his flock among the lilies, until the day breathes and the shadows flee. Turn, my beloved, be like a gazelle, or a young stag on the cleft mountains. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second reading comes from 1 Peter chapter 4, starting at the seventh verse. The end of all things is near, therefore be serious and discipline yourselves for the sake of your prayers. Above all, Maintain constant love for one another, for love covers a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another without complaining, like good stewards of the manifold grace of God. Serve one another with whatever gift each of you has received. Whoever speaks must do so as one speaking the very words of God. Whoever serves must do so with the strength that God supplies so that God may be glorified in all things through Jesus Christ. To him belong the glory and the power for ever and ever. Amen. Beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery, fiery ordeal that is taking place among you to test you, as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice in so far as you are sharing Christ's sufferings, so that you may also be glad and shout for joy when his glory is revealed. If you are reviled for the name of Christ, you are blessed, because the spirit of glory, which is the spirit of God, is resting on you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast. Not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. In 
now bring ourselves before God in a time of prayer, bringing those things for which we are thankful and ask for blessing, and bringing our regrets and our sorrows. And so let us pray. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. That this day may be holy, good and joyful. We pray to you, O Lord. That we may offer to you our worship and our work. We pray to you, O Lord, that we may strive for the well-being of all creation. We pray to you, O Lord, that in the pleasures and pains of life we may know the love of Christ and be thankful. We pray to you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in communion with all your saints entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We pray to you, O Lord. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Lord of all power and might, the author and giver of all good things, graft in our hearts the love of your name, Increase in us true religion, nourish us with all goodness, and of your great mercy keep us in the same. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>